Limitations of Marine Radar, Part 2 Please do not forget to like and subscribe the YouTube channel, Maritime Matters India. The frequency band of every radar is inbuilt by its manufacturer. It cannot be changed later by the user. But the pulse length can be changed as per the operator's requirements. The SALAS has made compulsory that there should be at least one X-band radar on board every ship because of its greater outreach and therefore the associated usage in the search and rescue. How does the vertical beam width affect the detection capability of a radar? The vertical beam width has impact of the early detection of the target. The VBW governs the spread of energy within a beam. A beam of smaller VBW is a more concentrated beam, and so, it is able to travel longer distance than beam of larger VBW. How does the horizontal beam width affect the detection capability of a radar? The horizontal beam width describes the horizontal angular spread of the beam. If the two targets have a separation which is leader than the VBW, then they show up on the screen as one single target only. How does the pulse length affect the detection capabilities of a radar? The pulse length has a strong correlation with the planned position indicator of the radar. Pulse is emitted from the scanner component of a radar system. The planned position indicator or the PPI is the other important component of a radar system. Let us focus on the PPI. The PPI is a monitor of a cathode ray tube. To form a paint on the fluorescent screen, the imaginary reticule or the view scope of the electron gun travels radially outwards, starting from the center of the PPI. The center of the PPI represents own ship. The electron is emission is tr triggered when the reticule is at the desired position which is proportionate with the distance of the target from the own ship. Now a marvelous synchronization takes place in the activities of the scanner and the PPI. As the pulse leaves the scanner, the reticule or the view scope leaves the center of the PPI in a radially outwards direction, aligned with the bearing of the scanner. The view scope continues to travel radially outwards while the pulse is on the way to the target. As the leading edge of the pulse enters the scanner, the electron is emitted. The electrons are fired on the PPI while the body of the pulse is entering into the scanner. As the trailing edge of the pulse enters the scanner the electron firing is stopped. On the PPI, the distance between the inner edge of the paint represents a distance which is twice of the actual distance between the target and the own ship. However, the representative information of the VRM on the PPI reads out as half of the multiplication of speed of microwaves and the time taken. That is the true distance of the target from own ship. It can be logically inferred that, for any point target such as a navigational buoy, the width of the paint on the PPI will be half of the pulse length. Two targets, while on the same bearing, when separated by a distance lesser than the pulse length, their paints merge into one and hence their detection becomes difficult. Depending of the size of the pulse length as set by the operator of the radar, there is a closest range of no detection for every radar. While the echoes from the target which are within this range, return to the scanner. The transmission reception cell inside the scanner is always in the transmission mode, not ready to receive the echo.